Hello, and welcome back to Let's Try. We're, we're gonna be, I'm still taking advantage of Steam Next Fest, and this is Double Shake. Um, <clears throat> I've actually known about Double Shake for a while, and I've been pretty interested in playing slash trying it. Um, this is a, I think, indie, indie successor to a game I played a lot as a kid called Mischief Makers, and Mischief Makers rocks. I might even want to do a playthrough for this channel. It's not the kind of thing I tend to do, but I love I love Mischief Makers so much. So I'm really glad to see uh, anyone try and do a successor to it. Geez, I wonder what happened over there. Maybe Grand Grand knows something, knows what's up. So what is Mischief Makers? Mischief Makers is a very strange game. Let me see. Okay, okay. So we can we can shake. Let's get it. Very much the uh, the the. Co core concept is grab and shake. We can grab these and we can shake them. Can we grab this chest? We can actually. Can we shake it? We can. It's definitely empty. Peoplepedia acquired. There's a bit of uh, maybe also Tomba 2 in this because there's a there's a little bit of a 2 2.5D thing happening, um, which is is interesting. I didn't actually expect that. Some, some cool, like, almost PS1 dithering effects happening along with, um, you know, <laughs> with, along with Mischief Maker's mechanics. What do we got here? Super jump. Oh, interesting. So we can jump between planes. That's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, Mischief Maker's. Mischief Maker's was a really weird... Uh, you could almost fly it as a uh, puzzle platformer. What is this? Is this just kick? Okay, that's our dash. That's our sort of forward dash. But basically, um, you would you'd grab creatures like this, and then you could shake them. Uh, and this, <laughs> although it seems like a very straightforward mechanic, um, this would basically this would, would, would like have a lot of puzzles and weird. Um, solutions for a lot of problems and I, I don't know it's, it's really hard to explain but I just take my word for it shaking was was the business throwing also just trying can we can we like jump throw back oh okay so we can we can uh, throw into the background oh that's odd so there's a definitely some innovation happening here it's not just um, it's not just mi mischief makers. It's a bit of a lot of things. Actually, I guess in Tomba, Tomba also had some grabbing mechanics. Tomba also a um, pretty, I would say, pretty obscure uh, little game on the PS1 that I, I played quite a lot of and I enjoyed quite a bit. Also had a lot of grabbing mechanics. So it's, I can't believe that uh, the merging of these two's, the, the marriage of these two games feels so natural and yet I never really thought of them as being related. Loam? Loam? I love the, the kind of faux jittering effect that we have. This is like PS1, like kind of um, crust graphics effects we've got, we've got going on here. Hey Loam, long time no see. Dinks. What kind of a name is Dinks? You're here early. Yeah, but I still somehow missed all the excitement with the hay. What's going on with the volcano, anyway? Yeah, I ain't got a clue. I was just about to talk to Gran Gran about it, see if she knows what's up. Let's see Gran. Our day together is already off to a blast. Almost forgot I made you something. Yay. What is that? Uh, thanks. It's really cool. You really made it yourself, huh? Yeah. We've been best friends for years, so I wanted to make you something special for you. Friendship forever charm. Oh, no. I... I we would prefer to have a friendship sometimes charm. Investigate the eruption. Um, hmm. There's some odd stuff going on here. So we can kind of like change the perspective. Not perspective so much as the angle of things. And then it changes um, how we move on a uh, two-dimensional plane. I, would want, I want whatever this is. Crystal piece acquired. What did we get there? Something good? Golden pepper! A rare pepper with powerful flavor, but it's dangerous to eat raw. 
can be cooked into a mean meal by an experienced chef. So let's talk to the sailor. Looking like we're stuck here for a, uh, stuck here for a while. Ain't no ship setting up for uh, while that volcano's going off. Okay. Shake, 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 shake. I'm 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 really excited for this game, honestly. Like, you know, there's there's quite a lot of uh, obscure titles out there that haven't gotten a lot of love. I'm wondering if where our limitations are for changing the perspective. Okay, here we go. Um, and some of them like are, are a bizarre marriage of many different mechanics um, that that almost like they've just kind of gotten um, they've gone extinct almost like they're endangered you know and uh, mischief makers uh, and Tama both of them are kind of fall into this like bizarre uh, platformer that had a little bit of discovery in them and a little bit of uh, quest solving. It's like almost like an RPG uh, puzzle platformer, but it's not really a puzzle platformer. Do we die? Quest discovered. Loam can't swim. Oh my god, that is a direct Tomba quest right there. So we've got to, you know, we've got the movement of, of mischief makers, but we've got the quest solving of Tomba. What do we got here? What's in here? It's locked. Okay. I'm surprised there's no quest involved there. Hello, tourist. Wow, even all that commotion and fire in the sky in this cute little village still feels peaceful. Can we grab a bomb? Those bombs do be exploding. Um, how do I... I can, like, throw them in the background, right? Yeah, there we go. I'm wondering, uh, is there a way to like target things in the background, or do you just kind of have to feel it out? I think you just kind of have to feel it out. Oh, I grabbed the, the dude. Is, is he okay? He looks dead now. Okay. All right. Tourism is gone. Good for business, but hard on my wallet. I know that feeling. We've got a Mountain Dew. <laughs> a vending machine that we can shake. That's fun. Can we grab one of these? We can shake at the pop. Will it let us like... Uh, I wonder if it'll give us like a little jetpack. Oh, actually, yes. I was kind of totally guessing there. This is, this is incredible. Alright, so now what? Oh. Okay, so it it does it just explodes. I thought maybe it would like give us a almost a double jump, kind of. Oh my god, it it does. It's a little bit tricky to to pull off, but it actually does. That's really cool. I want to try that again. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, shake it, and then and then what? It's, it's, uh, if there's anything in the way, then it doesn't work very well. Shake, shake. Yeah, okay. That's really cool. I love that. Never heard of this brand before and it just appeared out of nowhere. This stuff smells like rocket fuel or something. And way too carbonated. I wouldn't shake it if I were you. That's exactly what I did. Tried double jumping. I almost wish they hadn't told me the answer there. I know I figured it out on my own. That's nice. But, uh, you know, it's, it's more satisfying if you can kind of figure these things out on your own. This kind of air dash was a, a staple of, um... Oh, we, we need that, we need that, uh, drink. Was a staple of Mischief Makers, not so much of, uh, Tomba. And, uh, Tomba, Tomba was a very agile game. I, I love Tomba. I, again, I kind of wouldn't mind doing a playthrough of Tomba for the channel. Nice. Got a golden pepper. Is there anything over here? Shake, shake. This is, uh, well, that was locked. The, the, the feeling in this game is, is really good. The movement feels very, very solid. 
We can pet the dog, so immediately the game is, you know, game of the year material. As you know. So where where is this? I'm getting kind of lost. I will say that it's it's it is easy to get semi lost in this place. So what do we got over here? Oh, this is where we got the pin pinwheel. What what was that motion? Okay, so we have a dancing button. Oh, that's taunt. Uh, yeah, I forgot we can't swim. Okay. So there's still more to discover. I don't think I've gone this direction yet. Crazy ore girl. You there, fellow dirty girl. You know, like you might know a thing or two about geology. You know, like dirt, sand, rocks, pebbles, minerals, sediments, gems and crystals, which are totally different things. The best of all ores? Oh yeah, I guess. If you got any cool geo things, please show them to me. Okay. Do we? I don't think we do. We've, we've got a outfit. Oh, we've got some fish. I can eat it. This isn't anything like I described. You can keep this ugly whatever it is. Stop holding out. I know you have some ores. Well, okay, stop stop smacking it. Um, let's eat some fish. We get some health back for that. The switch in perspective can possibly be a little jarring. I think that uh, used sparingly, it's it's effective. Hello there, Alom and the Dinks too. What brings you two here so early in the morning? The volcano going kaboom, maybe? Yeah, yeah, grand grand. Yeah, that's basically it. Did you know that uh, what's causing it to act up so suddenly? Thermotopia is always active, but this definitely isn't natural. It's far too soon to be. Natural? You don't have anything to do with this, do you, Loam? Uh, I have nothing to do with this, I swear. I believe you, dear, but I still want you two to go and check out, uh, check on that, their, our, our fiery neighbor. Spend your special day after you take care of this a little pebble. Now, since all boats are stopped when the volcano is active, you two will have to head to White Cap Wharf on foot. You can use Bramble Beach to get there. One way to White Cap Wharf. The bridge has been broken, so, um... Hmm. I know. Talk to Kalani at the Great Lighthouse. She should know how to get... how you can proceed. Not Kalani. I can turn on the super jump allay lines so you can get there. While you're out and about, can you pick up some groceries along the way? I'll tuck this list in your quest log. Grand Grand, really? We really already have a bunch of stuff to do. Tell you what, dear, if you can find the time for me, I have a nice gift for you. Okay, smooth sailing, girls. We're all relying on you. Let's get this over with. What happens if you taunt NPCs? Nothing? Okay. Just I remembered I bought brought a camera. We can use it to save memories of our day together. Nice. Let me know whenever you want a picture taken. Uh, when a memory is saved, this is saving your game's progress. Makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on because I wanna I wanna see much of the game's mechanics. I don't know how much is available in um you know the uh, the demo, but I'm I'm hoping some. Ooh, it's an enemy. Oh, see so you gotta you gotta smack them a couple times before you can uh, turn them into something we can carry. Some of the controls are a little bit confusing, but, uh, oh wow, that was a quick quest. I wonder if maybe the full game there'll be more traveling up the mountain. See, Grand Grand told me you'd be able to help me with this whole bridge deal. Bridge deal? Oh yeah. Mmm, maybe. Okay, mm I know what to do. You might have seen them around the village already, but there's some strange crystals that were tossed around during the eruption. If you get me five of those, I should be able to help you with this whole bridge deal, I think. You think? Like, 72% sure, at least. What do stupid crystals even have anything to do with the bridge, anyway? Don't worry about it, sunshine. Also, make sure you're putting quest items in your quest satchel. Don't want them getting all mixed up with your own stuff. Open up your inventory with the pause button, and when you activate the quest satchel, you can then view and select items inside. Okay. Let's, uh, can we go in here? Collect crystals. Looks like we can't go in there. 
Can we jump off there? No, we can't. Huh. Okay. Well, there's a... Um, hmm. There's a, there's a thing to do up here. I wonder if I can... No? Okay, hold on. Yes! You can do it with a little bit of ingenuity. Another game I'd love to see a revival for, any kind of revival for, is a game called Jumping Flash. Some people might know Jumping Flash. Um, it's, it was qu it's quite a game, and it's a really hard one to explain. I'll never tr get to try that famous Nyana Banana Politan Saturday. <laughs> um, basically, Jumping Flash was kind of a first-person... Oh, okay, we can't do it. A first-person platformer with, like, insane verticality. I say insane, but probably, you know, my, my very young brain remembers it differently. But it was a game that really tried to give you an immersive sense of height. And it did so very effectively. Highly recommend people just, just look up uh, any kind of gameplay video or footage of Jumping Flash. It's a very, very unique game. And definitely a one worth seeing. And it's a, it's a, you know, the type of game that just doesn't get made anymore. It's very ex experimental. You know, it's I, like I kind of regret, in in a way, um, our obsession with like fidelity when it comes to graphics. Low Marino, is there anything I can help you with? Golden peppers. I've been burning to try a new dish. I just need four spicy hot uh, golden peppers. Normally they're really rare, but since this demo thing, there actually been quite a few sightings around the village. You got any golden peppers? I do. Oh, I've got some mystery stone as well. I gotta find that other person. Um, how many? I only have three. These are golden peppers, alright, but not quite four. Anything I can help you with? Crafting? Maybe come back in maybe the full version of the game? Potter, don't say that. What are you doing? Bye. Okay. Any fishing in this game? What are you talking about? Hmm, oh hi, I'm just thinking about fish, just thinking about them beans. Archipelago I want to try, I heard there's some mighty big ones. Folks have been talking about mighty, might just be exactly what I'm looking for. Well, good luck. Okay. Hey, there's something down there. Secrets. Any secrets, really? There doesn't seem to be any secrets over here. I can, I can make that jump. Yo, I can make that jump. I can break these cuffs. I got a golden pepper! Yo! Nice. Nice sense of uh, exploration in this game. Like, um, you know, I like how everything's kind of interconnected. This is uh, something I, I really hope they, they follow through on, the devs follow through on for the full version of this game. Um, China, there's also a really cool game I played on the- a lot of experimental games on the PS1. There's one called, I think, Machine Hunter? Wherein you, like, it was a top-down kind of, um, I don't know, not quite RPG, but kind of like a level-based shooty kind of game. Um, and the, the big gimmick with that one was, uh, whenever you killed a robot, you could take its body and, like, basically get its abilities and stuff. It was uh, pretty cool. Dish that Potter made from golden peppers. The oven baked peppers have been filled to the brim with rice, meat, and other kinds of roasted vegetables. Fully restores and increases your max HP. And we uh, recovered our, or we got, we, we saved the game. So let's eat this. Yummy. Um, I should go and find uh, the ore girl. So I can give her the ores. I don't know where she is. This isn't her. I love the um, the vibe of this game. It's almost got kind of a lo-fi thing going on. And decorate the shrine. I already did that. So yeah, I love I love the look of this game. It's got a really cool look. It's it's gone for like almost a, you know a deliberately um, primitive look, but it's got an art style. I actually really like the art style. It's 
It's got a really cute aesthetic. I love the personality in all of the characters. Um, this this game has a lot of promise, honestly. I'm I'm very interested in more of this. Wait, what? How many does she need? Who knows what's inside until you blast it? You gotta tell me later what kind of treasure you find. Uh, do I need to? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I think I have enough crystals. I don't know when I got this centipede thing. Where is the crystals? It's actually not showing me the crystals. Oh, I can jump. I don't need to, to do that directly. What is this? Pepper power. Oh, here we go. I have five crystals. Okay, so I have enough. I'm going to guess that the demo ends um, pretty much when I, I fix the bridge and not a, not a moment later. Which is fine. It just gave me a little bit of a chance to play around with some of the mechanics and see where we're at with this with this game. Got the crystals, I sure do. Sweet, you got all of them. Now I can repair the lighthouse's beacon. Hold on a second, what about the bridge? Oh yeah, here, I'll just raise the catapult and that'll get you across, okay? Fun. What's, uh, what's with the flower? That should do the trick. Did you just make me do your job? Emojis. Collect crystals complete. I, I, uh, something I really appreciated in Tom, but it's a very small detail, but I really liked the little quest, get, got a quest, basically. Um, the, the, the got a quest, like, music. It's a really specific thing, but I, I do actually have some pretty good memories of it. I, get you, I bet you get an achievement for petting every dog. Colored pinwheel acquired. Oh, I bet- okay, so you get a, a pinwheel for every dog you pet. There's a dog over here I can pet. I've already pet them. Bark. Okay. Um... Was I- what was I talking about? Something... something. Did, did I already pet this dog? Bark. Okay. I can give you the pinwheels. I have two pinwheels. Add a lot of scenery and Iolo might be pleased too. There's more, there's more pinwheels, that's cool. Um, yeah, I, okay, the, the quest music. I, it's a specific thing, but I really like the quest music. And I, I do find, um, I, I hope they maybe give some of the little sound effects and, and touches in this game a second pass. I know that sounds like really nitpicky, but it does make a difference, and I, I do, I, you know, we're, we're building on a very specific legacy here, right? This is a cool mechanic. I haven't seen that one before. I really do appreciate the, um, the, the kind of marriage of Tomba and Mischief Makers. It's, it's a match made in heaven, honestly. I, uh, I'm trying to jump here. There we go. It's a little bit tricky. Oh, we got a cool music change. Hot, hot, hot. Happy, 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 hot. Don't get too close to that rock, kid. Wait, you must be one of those uh, Peri people. Capasa. Capasa? Capasa means hello. Okay, hello. Short name, Abby. Abby, my name's Loam. Uh, hab Habaneri on Mighty Quest for Tasties. Many, many tasty. Mighty Quest for Tasties. Ice cream. All right, you want you want some ice cream. Well, I didn't expect the uh, the qu the demo to be this extensive. I don't know if there's any bosses or anything in this. There were bosses in. Um, there were bosses in Mischief Maker, not so much in Tomba. Someone's gonna correct me and say, "What about the evil pig?" Um, the the pigs weren't were not really bosses. They were kind of a joke puzzle. Um, stupidly easy and, and not really uh, indicative of some some kind of challenge. I just stock up on the food and with defense boost. Taking half damage means I wear, wear less armor. We've got a cat, cat cafe. 
I appreciate that walking on different uh, paths uh, kind of changes where we're going. What is this? What's going on? I've never seen a thing like you. Are you friendly? I'm starting to think no. So shaking these is uh, kills them. That worked out. What the hey? What was that about? I thought you would know this weird magic stuff is right up your alley, ain't it? I hardly know what the deal is with my own magic, let alone these uh, blob things. Let's go to White Cap Dwarf. Okay. You know, <laughs> this might sound like a criticism. It's really not. Um, the music kind of gives me like Sonic Adventure vibes, like original Sonic Adventure vibes. I kind of love it. What, uh, what's your deal, dude? Oh, I tr- Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! What was going on there? That was- that was a little bit jarring. Oh, you can, like, grab things out of the ground. If you, like, jump while in the air, you automatically... It's, it's a little bit odd. I'm trying to grab... I think you can't actually grab those. I think they're targets. Okay, we're gonna try and throw... Th oh, there we go. It's it's doing something funky. Oh, it's, it's done. It just uh, kind of raised this thing a little bit. So we can, we can travel over here. Good sense of uh, discovery and exploration in this game. I'm kind of gushing, but honestly, I am like really optimistic up for this game, and um, it's it's living up to my expectations. Expectations, hopes, more like. I love the music, honestly. Actually, the entire vibe in this is like perfect. I see. So we're, we've got a kind of a waterfall thing happening here. This is so good. I love this. Oof. Okay, so this is, oh, I see. This is purely so that we can get up there. So you can kind of do a double jump if you are holding an item. Oh, yeah, we got the Tomba, Tomba style holding poles. I don't know if this was also in Mischief Makers. But, uh, yeah, I can't believe, like, I really didn't think ever in my life I would get um, a marriage of, of Tomba and Mischief Makers. It really does make a lot of sense. And it works so well. I love it. Oh, I think we're I think we're trying to throw things in the background there. Nice. We can grab the missiles as well if you're really good. There's some really novel bosses in um, Mischief Makers that that involved you like grabbing things out of the foreground. One of, uh, one of my favorite bosses is actually one of the first ones because it was so hard. It gave me such a hard time, but it was such a satisfying boss um, that involved catching a fist. It was basically, it's one of the first bosses, like I say, but um, there's like this giant kind of demon thing uh, and it would punch down at you and you had to grab the fist out of the air and then throw it back at, at uh, the demon's face. And there was something really cool and satisfying about it because it was really hard to pull off, for one thing. And also because it was just like, you know, the, the look and style of the game made it super satisfying to make the demon punch themselves in the face. Oh no, I messed it up. Uh, I'm not sure what our current, like, objective is. I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. Um, but I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. 
That's a, that little like guitar wind in the background really does give me that uh, give me some Sonic Adventure vibes. It's like you know when a cutscene starts, it's just like got that kind of like Surfin' City wind that I, I love so much. Okay, I I think we're done there, I guess. I gotta say, I think I think me and the the devs uh, of this game are like on exactly the same same wavelength. They have exactly the same kind of nostalgia for um, possibly poorly aged games. <laughs> but I, I don't care. I, I you know I love it. I'm just happy that uh, I'm not alone in enjoying some of these games. Oh, you know what? I need I need you. Come here. There we go. I love that sense of discovery. It's a very simple thing, but I, I enjoy it. Hey, wait, isn't this? Yeah, this was supposed to be our way to White Cap Cor Door uh, Wharf, but what the heck, Bramble? This wasn't here yesterday. Thinks you sure you can't like star magic your way through this one? Sorry, Loam. I could teleport past it myself, but how would we get you through? I guess we'll just have to find a way to destroy it. Maybe someone on the island has an idea. After all, they're all farmers here. Can't. Yeah can't walk right into it for okay so we're looking for someone who can solve the bramble problem I'm trying to figure out where I've been I do think there's maybe a little like I would like a map maybe howdy ho maybe uh, welcome to my scrap yard is there anything I can help you with hey you wouldn't happen to have anything that can cut bramble would you as it happens I do have something though that I'm working on See all the machines poking out of this island? They've all been here long before any Calico Elder can even remember. It might even be pre-Golem War tech, since they don't have, seem to run on electricity. Golem War? Sorry, bud. I'm not a history nerd. It was, well, it was a long time ago. Back when magic saturated the air, powered our cities and islands floated high in the sky. I've been studying how these old war engines tick, and I might be onto something. If we can generate enough rotational energy to kickstart the magnetic... Servos. Hey, 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 not a science nerd either. What are you talking about? You can get a few wind, a wind up of wind sprouts I can use them to spin these blades. That sounds simple enough. Okay, how many do you need to spill, spin this thing? Four should do. Seeds grow in high places around the island and shouldn't be hard to miss. Um, didn't, didn't we already collect a couple of those? Mm, I guess not. I thought we did. Wind up wind sprout. We collected exactly one. I appreciate that the game let me collect it, despite the fact that, you know, we, uh, we weren't on that quest. Some games are, are very persnickety about that, you know, like, they won't let you do it. They won't let you collect stuff until, until you're, uh, on the quest. So, appreciate that. Okay, so... Oh, there's a... We, we probably want to... Can we can we throw upwards, I wonder? Oh, throwing upwards means throwing forwards. So no, not really. You can't really destroy these boxes. You can only exclusively throw things into them. Actually... I see. I can't. I don't think I can actually break these boxes. I can't break these cuffs. That was dang foolish of me. I love this giant cat tail. Can I grab onto it? Yes, I can. Can't. Can't break through that. Hmm. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a little lost. Oh, there's a dog. We can we can get a pinwheel. Colored pinwheel acquired. You can t flash your butt into the air. What what is happening? <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, so I don't know if I can do anything in this area yet. Doesn't seem like I can anyway. If, if maybe I need a bomb, that kind of reads. I bet I have to like carry a bomb all the way over there. Okay, let's let's try that. I love the way she runs. It's actually really funny to me. Okay, I'm glad the bomb doesn't explode. Okay, so we can't uh, can't get through there. We're gonna need to blow that up and then go get another bomb. I'm correct about the bombs. I was a little worried that the new, like the new version of the same song, was kind of get a little bit grating on me, but it hasn't. I am actually really enjoying this. You know, the the, the way they are evolving the music. Oh, that's tricky. How am I gonna get the bomb all the way across there? No! <laughs> What's over here? Have I- I haven't been over here. Oh, okay. So there's stuff over here. You know, it's occurring to me that if I go... If I get the bomb, I could go this way, maybe. Uh, no, because I can't, I can't carry the bomb while I go across like this. But I could carry the bomb over here. Maybe I have to open up a path this way. Mechanics are really solid in this game. That enemy just like, straight up died. Okay, here we go. Hey, I wonder if this counts as a bomb. Maybe that's the deal. Yes! That's kind of cool. Uh, I need uh, I need you, actually. Come back. <laughs> I even... Okay, listen. This is going to be a very weird thing to nostalgia on. But I appreciate the pop-in, okay? <laughs> I actually really appreciate the pop-in. It's such a weird thing to appreciate. But it's it's, it's really doing it for me, okay? <laughs> I really do like just how kind of purposely and and like sparingly the the graphics have been jankified. It's a it's a bold choice and it's working. I think it's working really well for me. Okay, so we need whatever's in that chest. What is this? Oh, is it just money? I did all of that for money? Wonder if there's anything on this right side here. Oh, there's a dog. We got another pinwheel. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There's a there's a thing right there. I see it on the right side there. So I do know I have to go this way. I guess maybe these things count as bombs. Okay, this this is tricky. If this is actually the answer, this is like really tricky. Oh my god. Well, it worked. I don't know if it's the answer, but it certainly worked. I don't I don't want to stop playing this demo. This is like excellent. I don't know if those count as bombs or not. Either way, it doesn't really matter. We got we got the thing. When wound up just a little bit, it'll spin for many, many hours. When mature, it can end up carrying small chunks of land into the air. So 
So, okay, so I've got two of the windmill thingies. There's plenty more to collect, I'm sure. Not sure, not sure where to go to next. They, it said they like to be in high places. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, you know, exploration is definitely the key here. Ooh, have I been in this direction? Yes, this is actually where I came from. Okay, that might mean I've actually not been in the other direction. This this direction. If I have been and I'm misremembering, that's my bad. Yes, I have been in this direction as well. Wonder if there's anything down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Death is the answer to that question. So we've been up here. This is where we got one of the other sprouts. Grabbing something like out of the air is immensely satisfying. Well, <clears throat> as much as I would love to continue this demo, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be smart enough to figure out where the other two sprouts are. I might have to do an edit. A rare a rare uh, edit in one of my Let's Try videos to try and find the other sprouts. Just to, just, I kinda, I want closure on this one, honestly. Hmm, this could be something. Probably gonna need uh, bombs to get over here. I saw all those cool jumps you did from here. Calico people have such amazing jumping skills. Am I a Calico people? Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can't go in this direction. What? What? <laughs> what? Well, that was fun. All right, let's just jump over it. How about that? What did I get? Artifact invented a hat pin by an unknown alchemist in a factory. F fun? Not not what we wanted, but we we got it. That was really funny. Want me to take a picture? Sure. Actually, what, what was autosave? Yeah, just take a picture of me when I walk by. Okay. So you have the option of living uh, your draconian save mechanic feature dreams. Um, in which you <laughs> have to save manually whenever you walk by. You have the option of living like that if you want to, I guess. You, you could just do that, I guess, if you wanted to, as a treat. Just like, you know, just do that. Trying to, trying to see what maybe, if maybe this crate contains some mysteries. No. Uh, I do see another sprout though. We're gonna need one of these. Oh, I guess I approached it from the wrong direction. Okay, hold on a sec. My bad. There we go. I have gotten pretty used to the controls now. Do, 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 do. Okay, I just need one more. I think I might have found another wind sprout. Come, come check it out. Oh, nice. Here I was about to go do some more exploration. Actually, it seems like I can change directions there. I don't know how to get that uh, chest up there. Give me a second. Before before I go um, the long way around like a chump, I'm wondering if I can just change my directions here. No, apparently not. Okay. Okay, we can't go, we can't really go that way. We can, but I need to. All right, and we gotta switch directions. I kind of wish there was a shortcut, because I'm not, 
All right, this this is fine. This is this is honestly nothing to complain about. All right, what do you what do you got for me? Actually, the more I look at it, the more I realize it might not be. Are you kidding me? I'd say be careful, but we both know that doesn't suit you. Want me to tackle it? Are you kidding me? Yo, that's kind of weird. Why'd you have me uh, running over here? Oh. Oh, it's a boss. What are you? Are you the ones bringing these blobs? We are ch a chaos. But that's none of your concern. Hagbag is just here to nip your insects in the bud. That'd be a good little pests. And kindly perish. You got this. Show the flower what for. Really cool music. Good conveyance of mechanics from before. This is like classic video game right here. Honestly. This is, this is, this is pretty fun. It's pretty easy as well, but that's just cause like, you know, I've been playing enough that I'm used to the mechanics. I like how things are developing. This stuff, this, this really takes me back, honestly. This kind of gameplay specifically, like PS1, you know, maybe I rented a game. Grab it. Ah. Yo, get freaking suplexed! I have failed you. You insects have seen the last of us. Haven't seen the last of us, of course. Nagoro? Piercing eye acquired. Oh, hey, and we got a sprout. Nice. Do you have anything to add to the stinks? Now we got all four sprouts, let's talk to Perot. You're gonna make me go all the way to Perot and do all the legwork, aren't you? Oh hey, that's how we get to that chest. I'm actually... Oh no, I died. Oh no. Well that's fine, because we... I just... Saved? I thought I just saved. Did it not automatically save? Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do another cut here, I guess. Alright, well... I just wanted to see what was in this chest over here. It's locked. Are you kidding me? Hey, is that a sprout over there as well? How... How far back am I? How many sprouts do I have? Okay, I have four. I, I got a... I got a weird feeling about how things went there. That I like had to redo a bunch of stuff. You know what? Let's um let's eat some fish. I'm not feeling so good about the stability of this early build. Can't use items right now. Okay. I mean I sure could use some health, but okay. You got these wind-up seeds already? Yes. Where are they? That's a wind seed. Now we can get this puppy purring. Actually, that seems to be all of the time we have for this demo. Are you sure you want to end the demo? Yep. See you soon. All right, well, that'll do it. That'll do it for a uh, double shake. Honestly, uh, this game is, believe it or not, better than I expected. I, I was expecting it to be a pretty good spiritual successor to Mischief Makers. Instead, I got a spiritual successor to Mischief Makers and Tomba with just like, stellar execution great great art style graphics love the whole thing great uh i, I can't I, I have like not a single bad thing to say about it so a little rough right now but it's early so I'm, I'm assuming those things will get polished but other than that um this is this has been a really really nice surprise so i am really looking forward to this one uh if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy
Oh, <laughs> 